Chris. And I'm Ed. Hi, everyone. And this is Leroy. He's our little pirate. And today, we're going to read for you. The story is called The Pirate of Kindergarten. And it's a library book by George Ella Lyon. Fun. Oh, Leroy. Yeah. All right. So this particular story, we thought we'd have some pirate hats for because it's about Ginny. And oh. she loved the reading circle. And I love a little kid who likes to read, going yeah. to school for the reading circle. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Yeah, me too. But sometimes it can be tough sometimes, right? It can be tough when you're trying to go to school to read. Well, getting there for Ginny is pretty hard. Yeah. And yeah, it was hard because with all those chairs in the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the chairs were a problem because part of the time she didn't know which ones were real, right, Ed? That's right. Yeah, which one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the reason that she didn't know which ones were real is she was really struggling with her vision. She sometimes was seeing more than one. She always ran into some of them. Oh. And some of the kids were, what were they doing? Oh, they were laughing at her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really yeah. not very nice. Yep. Yeah. She was struggling. Mm. She was struggling to see which chair was real, which chair was just maybe a figment of her vision. Yep. Yeah. That was what was going on with Ginny. So Ginny loved reading anyway from the big book that Mrs. Cleo held in her lap. Yeah. Or the flip chart that uh, Mrs. Cleo pointed to with a stick. <laughs> or best of all, from the book Ginny held in her hands. She's holding that book tight. You can tell she loves to read. Mm -hmm. yep. Do you guys like to read? Do you like those books? Yeah, I love to read. And I love going to the library to get, get books. Yeah, that's where we got this book, was from the library. And I like that. That's my favorite way. Mm -hmm. I always read a story to my son every night before bed. Well, Jenny stuck her nose in the fold of the book. Do you know what? This part right here, that. that's the fold of the book. Yeah. That's where she stuck her yeah. nose. Jenny, Miss Cleo said, we read with our eyes, not with our <laughs> noses. But Ginny's eyes played tricks on her. She read, Cat ran fast, but the letters were all mixed together. She thought everyone saw this way. She didn't know they were tricks that her eyes were playing on her. Well, when something happens to you, you don't know that you're the only one. You think everybody sees that way. Mm -hmm. And of course, and it really says, Cat ran fast. When the other kids laughed, Ginny really tightened her mind the way you tie a knot in a rope. Then she could remember to read only Cat Ran Fast. Yep. Yep. But after, she'd get afraid and read it again, only softer. Kind of quiet. Because sometimes when we're intimidated and people are laughing, we think maybe if we do it quiet, they won't laugh at us. Yeah, she's trying, you know, she doesn't want them to hear her mistake. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm But that's okay because everybody mm -hmm. makes mistakes. And she's trying really hard. Everybody makes mistakes. And then Miss Cleo's hand was resting on Ginny's head and she said, Just once, Ginny. We read it just once. If Ginny closed one eye, she only saw one word. Oh. When Miss Cleo said, Don't squint. What happens when you squint? Is that when you kind of... Close your eyes a little tiny mm. bit tight. Yeah, kind of like when the sun is bright or the light is too bright. You kind of squint your eyes or like early in the morning when you get up out of bed. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But kinda. you also squint when you're trying to see things clearly. Yeah. If you're mm -hmm. squinting your eyes, that might mean that you're having a problem. Mm -hmm. So the numbers hopped around like popcorn. I love popcorn. Oh, I love popcorn. So does Leroy. So does Leroy and Oh, James. yeah. I like yeah. popcorn. When she looked at the chart, or the board, or the book, she saw twice as many. Twos, like swans, and threes, like bees, and big-bellied sixes, as the other kids saw. Ginny liked their shapes. She liked to draw them, and she really liked to color them. Boy, I like coloring, too. I do, too. We both like art a lot, mm -hmm. huh? Mm-hmm. 
But we can't do that just instead of reading. We have to do both. No, but if you can't see straight, it's hard to color in the lines if mm -hmm. you're not seeing correctly. Or outside of the lines because you don't know where those lines are. Mm -hmm. Yep. Scissors. Oh, those scissors were tricky. If she mm -hmm. didn't keep her mind tied really tight when Miss Cleo gave the rabbit pictures, then she might cut out one ear. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. And another and another. Uh-oh. Looks like she's cutting more than one. Hmm. And scissors are sharp. Scissors are sharp. You got to be careful you don't cut yourself. Mm-hmm. Once she got so mad, oh boy. she stuck those scissors right in the paste. And guess what? I bet her friend told on her. Carl told. Oh boy. Carl told. Tattletale. Nobody likes a tattletale. <laughs> Miss Cleo said, a three-eared bunny. How original. <laughs> how and original. just wash the scissors, Jenny. This time the teacher patted Carl's head. Mind your bunnies. Mind your bunnies. Mind your own bunnies, she said. How many times have I been told to mind my own bunnies? Mind your bunnies. My business, my bunnies. Mind your bunnies. That's a great saying. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mind your bunnies. I'm going to use that one. Mind your bunnies. Oh, she was frustrated. That's why she stuck the scissors in the paste. Then came... Oh, this was a cool day at school. This was the vision screening day. Oh yeah. Well, oh. look at the looks on some of those kids' faces. They're, They're all scared. scared. They're nervous, every one of them. You know why, Ed? I bet they thought they were gonna get a shot. I bet, you know, anytime you see a nurse holding a clipboard, mm -hmm. watch out, you think a shot's coming, but, but no, Nope. no shots. No shots, nope. Actually, this was kind of fun, this vision screening. Ginny did fine at first, reading letters on the white chart, the nurse put a black spoon over one eye and asked her to name the letters. She could do that with one eye. She saw only one letter. It was the same when he covered the other eye. But it looks like, it sounds like she's having problems with both eyes. Yeah, I remember mm. one time when the only letter I could see on that chart was the big E. Mm. Because both eyes work together. Mm -hmm. to see things properly. But when the nurse said, now use both, Ginny froze and he pointed to a new row of letters. Wow, they look all blurry and jumbled up. Oh, yeah. and now she's getting very nervous. Yeah, if they had been words, she could have read just once. But letters by themselves were a jumble. The nurse tapped the chart again. This line, please, this line, read this line. Oh, Ginny was nervous. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. She wasn't going to be able to do it. Yep. Ginny's getting very, very nervous. She's seeing E's and F's and P's and E's and O's. Mm -hmm. Ginny said all she could say. She said what she saw, and she saw T's and O's and Z's. Mm -hmm. And he points to the next line. He pointed to the next line. Ginny, read the same way. The, nurse voice is, the nurse's voice was gentle. Do you see two? Ginny nodded. Do you see two of me, he asked. She nodded again. Yep, she's seeing two. I think I know what's going on. Uh-oh. Something's happening. But I bet it's still not going to be a shot. No, no shots. Do you know, the nurse asked, that most people only see one. Mm -hmm. They only see one. Yep. Ginny started to cry. She thought, you know, something was wrong with her. Why can't she see like everyone else? But there's no reason to cry. It's no. okay. No reason to cry. Miss Cleo appeared and put a hand on Ginny's shoulder mm -hmm. and said, what's wrong? This child has double vision, the nurse explained. She needs to go to a doctor for her eyes. He looked at Ginny. This can be fixed, so you'll see only one. I bet, though, that she's scared yeah, right she's now. she's still a little nervous because she doesn't she, know what to expect. Yeah, she's thinking she has to go to the doctor, mm -hmm. and uh-oh, mm -hmm. that's even more scary than a screening at school. Yeah. 
So the next week, Ginny's mother took her to Dr. Clance, and he had Ginny look through special lenses in a dark room. But guess what? It didn't hurt. It made her a little dizzy, but it didn't hurt. No shots. No, it's actually pretty fun. Yeah, when they were finished, Dr. Claire said, good news. I don't think you'll need an operation. Just exercise, glasses, and for a while, a patch. Oh, Ginny was excited. A pirate patch? Says she loves to play pirate. Just like we do, Holly Roy. Just like us. Whoa, he reached in a drawer and he had to Ginny two patches. One on a band that went around her head and one that would snap onto her glasses. You pick out some frames, Dr. Claire said, and we'll wear the patch until you come back next week. Ginny's mother helped her put it on. Now there was just one of everything, and she didn't have to squint. Boy, she was happy. Oh, I'm sure. And Can you looked, imagine? Oh my gosh, she looked so cool with that pirate patch. I remember when I got my first mm -hmm. pair of glasses, it was so awesome to see for the mm -hmm. first time. Oh, it was great. So Ginny became a kindergarten pirate who could do numbers and scissors. Yes, and who could climb the rigging of the playground first and then read and read and read. Gosh, uh, you love to read. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love to read? Reading is good. And she was a kindergarten play pirate playing all around. And take her place in a circle without knocking over a single chair. Leroy, would you like to be a pirate with us again? Come here, Leroy, buddy. come here, buddy. Come, come here. Come here, Leroy. Can you say goodbye to the kids till next time? Thank you, buddy. Thanks for reading with us. Yep. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. We appreciate